today we're going to paint this bird. And uh, I'm going to use oil painting uh, for today. So, all right, let's just start the painting. I'm going to use the first start with this uh, number two fibre shape uh, brush. It's just a smaller brush. And I, uh, all the brushes I'm using, I'm planning to use. I'm, I have a fan brush and have a number six and number six, very much the same brush. And this, they're all fibre shape. I like this shape. And also their hair, they are all natural hair brush. And okay, I'm gonna take a little gamso and just do a little quick drawing. So I'm gonna actually have a little bit green color over here. Just take a little green color. It's very thin. And let's take a look at what is the largest shape. I'm gonna have it. And I'm gonna put this, the part over here, a little, maybe a little bit higher and not going too, a little bit too low. So uh, maybe not really go that much to the right hand side, okay? Just think about what is the, the overall shape, like this, draw the bird coming up over here. And just thinking about that, what is just the overall composition? So if you have the bird here, I, I don't want to have it too high either, right? So have it like this, and you can just paint a little bit more into it. Just make sure you you include everything that you want to include as quick as you can. So I'm gonna have this coming over here. This is the tail, and that's the body, and this is the shadow side over here. And I have the leg coming over here, just the part with one part over here. And there's another part on the back over here. And then think about the, um, the catch the shadow, whether or not I'm gonna take a little bit more gamso and take a look at, and that would be the catch the shadow over here. And we're also gonna divide this with this table. So when I have that, the background a lot darker, but take a little bit more time to think about it. Is this is exactly the composition you want or you wanna add something into it? I'm gonna have some, a little shape over here, a little bit, a few lines like this. I have a little bit light shape in the background over here, but mostly it will be darker shape. And let's take a look. It feel like it needs something, it needs something integrate to it. Uh, and maybe something should be at the front over here. And it seems like a little bit overexposed. So I'm gonna maybe bring some of the uh, tree in the background, some of the, uh, the, the vegetable in the background, maybe have a couple at the front over here. This is my thinking. All right. Let's walk into it. This is oil painting, so you can change it at any time you want, but pay attention to the dark and light color. So we're going to try to make this composition as fast as we can to focusing on the value and color. Okay, now I'm going to take a look at, use this fan brush. I'm going to take the, the blue color. And I can take the, I don't use the green color as a primary color. So it's just take the yellow and the, okay, and the blue, right? That's probably too dark. So I need to, uh, not too dark, it's a too bright. So I need to get, take, a little, take a little bit red color in here. Take a little red color. So make it a little bit more neutral. Okay, now I'm gonna have this really quickly coming in. Keep your energy floating into the whole painting process. Get a little bit gamso. Okay, here you go. The gamso is stripping down, which is fine. 
and have the the back over here, and try to make this the impression, and so that you can come back to uh, make the more changes before you get into the details. Okay. Yeah, take a look. I'm gonna get a little bit more blue. This is just the green shade blue color, the present blue. I'm gonna take a look at and coming up over here. So coming to the head, the mouth, and no worry about it. Just even see it, not even the bird. It's just the dark color color, dark color, light color. Okay. So using the fan brush actually uh, allow you to keep it thin and also uh, fast. I'm gonna get a little bit more gamso. There you go. Top over here, keep a little bit thin and loose at the beginning. So I'm gonna have this even come up to be, come down over here even come down all the way over here. So have this a little bit softer contrast over there. Okay. Okay, here you go. Put a little pigment over here. Coming down a little bit more. Okay. Uh, there is some the light, too much light over here. So it looks like uh, there's a little bit wash out. So I'm gonna put this uh, light on this side a little bit away, so you can see a little bit better. Okay, here we go. All right, now I'm gonna come down over here, continue filling up the color. And I may not really want that to be so clear down over here too. So I can have this down over here. I may not really want it to be table. Maybe it looked like something else, that will be fine, okay. Okay, this is pretty good. I just get the idea of how the color, and they definitely the bird is gonna be lighter. So I'm gonna keep it uh, lighter. I'm gonna to wanna to put the color and also keep it light. And now I'm gonna start adding the color to the first part, okay? And see how fast you can actually get into the composition. Right now it's just composition, okay? Now I'm gonna put this a little bit darker and take a look. So that's right in the middle. Okay, this is good. I'm gonna have a little bit red color and have this a little bit more darker, a little bit more neutral. Uh, I'm gonna have that coming down over here. This is good. And after the fan brush, I will start uh, going into using the fewer shape brush. Right now, just focusing on their uh, value, okay? I'm gonna have a little bit more blue and coming on this side, when I have a little bit more blue, it appear to be darker. That's good. And all right, let's paint a dark color. Now I'm gonna have a little bit more gamza, get a little bit more red. So I have a little bit warmer color right over here. You see this? That's good. That's good. That's a very dark color. And this two color can be connected together, okay? I have a little bit more like a purplish color. I can have this color connected over. Uh, this is good. And this is pretty good, the top over here. I have a little bit dark color over here too. And now I'm going to uh, wipe off uh, too much of the paint. I'm gonna clean my brush a little bit. Now I'm gonna have just a little bit blue color. And let's take a look. And actually this could be the time for me to also set the color down over here. You can leave it white if you like the way it is, right? I'm gonna have that little bit white. I'm gonna take a look at what color I'm gonna do that for the bottom. And maybe a good idea to have a little bit warmer color. So I'm gonna take a look and have a little bit warmer color. So it doesn't need to be uh, the table, it can be something else. Also welcome the accidents if that 
appear to be oh the warm color and actually if that even better and then just put keep the keep the red color there that will be fine i'm gonna come in over here make it look like a more like a dirt and you can play around the idea okay just go with it to see how it look i'm gonna have this a little bit softer coming down like this that will be fine okay that's in the distance right okay this is good now the foundation looks is pretty good and now i'm going to add some even darker color uh in the background i'm gonna clean the brush a little bit because my brush have too much white and now i'm going to let go and clean it now i'm going to have just have a little bit red coming here this is good and get the blue color there's two color making it really dark and our mixing is very similar to uh, across all different medium like watercolor acrylics and oil you can keep their uh the way how you're analyzing the color okay now i'm going to have this a little bit darker color here a little bit darker over here too okay that's good the color getting a little bit drier now because of you using the gamsol to make it dry much faster. Okay, this is good. And then um, we are going to, coming in over here, just, just give it a little bit uh, light shape and it was just going to work just fine. Uh, so we control how much details we're gonna give it to, how much we're gonna holding it back. Okay, this is good. All right. Now we're going to, I'm going to clean this brush and then I'm going to put it on the side and start to working the color of the book. Uh, you can actually work very fast if you want to. I'm going to use uh, the little bit larger uh, brush and then number six. Now I'm going to take a look at the book. And now from here, I'm just going to use uh, the, the paint alone. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take a look at how light that need to be the body. Okay, this is maybe too dark. So now I'm gonna take it a little bit more. So when you mix the color, you want to mix it from the side. Okay, you don't want to mix the whole with the whole pile. Just mix with the side, and maybe just mix with the color that you already have in the brush. That could be even good enough, okay? I'm gonna take that. Take a look at, that's just good. And could be a little bit yellow, a little bit too much pink. So I'm gonna take a little bit yellow color, right? Uh, again, if anyone first time seeing this, this is our oil painting club. Uh, meeting. So if you're a member, first come to join us. Uh, we regularly doing it on the first and the third Monday, uh, because this week, the first Monday is right on the first day of the month. Right? Try to give a little bit more readiness for the member. So I change it to be the second week. Or we can talk about it. if that work better for everyone, we can keep on, we can modify the schedules from time to time. And this is our own meeting. We can do whatever convenience for our members. Okay. Now I'm gonna make this a little bit lighter. Like, did you see that? Just give it the color that we don't don't think about as a bird at this point. Right now, it just give it the the think about the the value between this shape and the outside shape. All right now, I'm gonna have a little bit darker. Uh, 
have a little bit yellow with the red. And this is good. This this book is a cardinal. And this we love the cardinal books. Uh the boats. Okay, over here from here coming in all the way here. This is good. Sometimes one brush draw is all you need. We can come back to do more uh, later. Take a look at the top over here. And come back here and have another shape here. And I can have that. Here go. have some, a little bit, the top of the head. That's just already good. I'm gonna come down over here and I'm gonna make this a little bit darker too on the wing over here. Okay, that's good. Like that. And also a little bit darker on the side on the shoulder over here. Now it actually looks pretty good already. Now I'm gonna come in into to set the uh cast shadow. But maybe before the cast shadow, I want to also touch up on the background over here. I'm gonna have that a little bit tighter into uh, the edge of the bird. I'm gonna take this, the same color as we used before. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna put that in over here. Okay. I'm gonna have it even a little bit darker. Okay, take the little bit darker color. And this area. Give it a little break. Okay, that's good. Wonderful. And then on the top over here too. That's good. Having that. I don't want to touch up into the uh the light shape. If I have to, I can touch up on it and I can re redefine the edge. Okay, that's good. All right, since I have the light color, I also go in and come in too. Uh, give a little touch up onto some of the shape that we are. That's good, like that. Okay, hold the brush sideways. Make it a little bit, feel a little bit random, okay? That's just the light shape. You see how easy to get into the details from the larger shape. Now think about if there's too much, you can soften that. Okay, a little bit coming up. That's good. Now a little bit interesting. And I want to have a little feeling of the lip like that. And a little shape breaking that. And we can have just a little bit lighter, even have a little bit white. I can have that little shape like that. A couple shape over here too. This is good. And we're gonna have a little shape on this side. Look again. Okay. If you want need to, you can also use palette knife. If you want something even more clear and a little bit sharper right now, uh, that probably good enough already. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna have another shape coming down. That's good. Okay, that's good. And have a few little soft, uh, yeah, now it's already give a lot of suggestions already, right? This is all about impression. Okay, that's good. A little shape over there. And now we're good. Now we come back to the bird and looking at the shadow side. I already have the green color in the brush. Uh, that's very good. And Oh, and something over here because I any color I'm 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 gonna put into the sh shadow side of the boat, they also have the blue color and yellow color, so I don't need to clean the brush. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, I just need to get a little red color, right? A little red color, and get a little bit more blue. You see, 
I even get more blue. I also have some yellow. So I'm going to get the green color in here. I think this color already good. Now I also need to think about how dark is that color. We know that it is color warmer, but how dark that color would be. You need to think about that too. Now I'm going to use my left hand to support my my right hand. Okay, let's take a look. Take a look at the biggest shape that will be in the body over here. I'm going to have a little bit thicker color. So I'm going to mix a little bit more. I'm going to get a little bit red. I'm going to get take a little oil too. A little walnut oil. And a little bit more. That's just good. A little bit easier to move. I get a little bit blue color. A little bit blue. I think that's just pretty good. It may be too dark though. Okay, I'm going to see. And so this color needs to be a little bit lighter than the dark color in the background. So we're going to see. Take this color and start moving it a little bit lower, like that. Let's see. We're going to have even darker. So that color may be a little bit too, too dark. So I'm going to have a little white mixing. Here, even a little bit lighter. Here you go. Now I'm going to have the, the bottom over here. Hmm, that's too light. I'm going to come back, get a little bit yellow color because it looks too much uh, pink. It needs to be a little bit more. I'm going to get a little bit blue and yellow, which is already in the, um, the green color. So good. I have this color. Now a little bit deeper. This is good. Okay, think, look before you start painting on it. Okay, you don't want to overdo it. Uh, you don't want to make it uh, more than you need. That means that you're going to have to come back to do more. So economic is important in all medium. Now I'm going to take a look at the mouth. This could be the color for the mouth. That's good. Uh, the beak, that's good. All right. That's good. Now, I need to be a little bit darker. So I get a little yellow and also get a little bit blue. And it's already darker. That's good. And take a look. A little bit more blue and red. Here we go. Okay. Now I'm going to have a little bit darker. Get the red and the blue color together. And I'm going to have a little bit sharper. Get a little bit more blue. That's just good. Now take a look at right here. That's a little bit sharper. That's good. Like that. And a little bit more blue. Okay. Ooh, that's too much. We're going to see. It could be helpful. Get a little bit red. Mix into it. Okay. I want it a little bit sharper. Here you go. That's a one brush stroke. Okay. That's good. Okay. That's good. Over here. A little bit more darker. That's good. And now come to the eye area, the shadow. Now take a look right from here. And a little turn over here. You see, very economic and easy. Okay, that's good. And coming down over here. Now the color start changing. Okay, now I want to have a little bit more red. Okay, now I'm going to use different brush and I don't want to clean the brush yet. So I'm going to use a different brush instead. Now I'm going to take this. This is good. Get a little bit more yellow. This is good. A little bit brighter brown color. I'm going to take a little bit of oil. Okay, so that it 
can go a little bit easier with the brush. Now take a look at this shape. We need to create a shape. Okay, this wonderful. And you're thinking about it, what shape that would be, how you're going to create that, that shape, the color, the value. Okay, this is good. And coming in over here, and the bottom over here can be a little bit light up, a little bit. Okay, that's wonderful. And the bottom over here have a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna get just a little bit lighter, a little bit gray. So in this case, I'm gonna have a little bit green. At the opposite from red, that will be the green. So I'm gonna have this, a little bit more gray. There you go. This is good. Now I'm gonna just put up an edge over here, a little bit lighter. That's good, like that. Okay, now I'm gonna take a look. You see all brush strokes, right? So now also I'm gonna have that here and we see a little bit like a gray blue color. I'm gonna take a little blue over here. I'm gonna have this little feather right in here. Okay, that's good. All right, that's good. I'm gonna coming over from here, coming up. I'm gonna change the color and see is there enough paint in your brush? Okay, this is good. And we're gonna have a, a thinner line a little bit later. Okay, this is good. And also see this color. This is a perfect for uh close the area close to the tail. I'm gonna have this. Okay, it is a little bit separate. This is good, like that. Okay, that's good. And I'm also going to have this a little bit later. That's a feather over here, star over here coming up. There is a, a couple shape. Uh, this is good. All right, now we're all almost like getting the impression of the boat. It's already there. Now what I want to do, I'm going to just this brush has no pink right now. I'm just going to use this, this brush over and extend it a little bit. Okay, and extend it a little bit. Okay, this is good. It look more as is the, uh, the tail. Now I'm going to have a little bit more blue color and actually blue, blue purple color like that. I'm going to have this a little bit uh cooler color right in here i'm gonna just touch on it that's good that's good yep if you want to have a little bit sharper even better this is good and over here we can also have a little gray color okay now we get a little bit more and more more and more into the detail i'm gonna get a little brown too and making this down a little bit. Okay, this is good. Now I'm going to come into uh, add the light color, like over here, have a little light thicker color so we can reform this light shape, okay? So before I do that, I need to make sure I have a uh, good enough color in here so I don't have to come back to do it again. Okay. And now I'm going to add the dark color to it. But before I do that, I also need to, I'm going to clean this brush. And I'm going to make sure the outside over here, I get a little bit, have some blue, and have a little bit darker. Okay, that's good. Have a little bit darker over here to reform this, the mouth and putting in here. This is good, but I don't want this too dark, okay? Because right over here also have some dark color. So if I have that too, too dark, it's gonna confuse the bird, right? So I'm gonna come back over here. I'm gonna use this color to make this a little bit more clear. Dark color right there. This is good. And you are um, having the painting already in your mind, you kind of graduate, download it, 
to your canvas. I'm going to take a look at what here. I'm going to start adding this, this small stroke dark and like that. I'm going to have a little bit darker. Make sure I have a little bit darker, thicker, thicker color. There you go. Like that. That's good. Okay. Now I'm going to have a little bit more red also. A little bit darker. I don't need to have the brush stroke too small. I think this brush can handle it. Let's see. And we got a little bit more red. Okay. Let's see. You see, this is probably thin enough. Okay, let's see. And coming from here. Wonderful. Continue. Okay, I need to reload the color. That's good. And we're going to come back to, uh, that probably also already look good enough. I'm going to take a look at here and also have this little brown color. I'm going to have this extend this shape, this stroke coming forward a little bit. Maybe it does too much. I will come back to, uh, I'm going to clean the brush. That's maybe a little bit too much. It's a really fun to paint with oil. Of course, watercolor also fun. And I'm going to take this and come back over here. Here we go. Now I'm going to add this light color next to the dark color. That's good. Now create that interesting shape. And I can also have that other subtle details. Now I'm going to come with this color. And here we go. This a little bit lighter. I'm going to get a little bit more white. And think about how bright the color you want it to be too. So right here, I'm going to have that light shape right over here on this side. Okay, this is good. I'm going to have that. Also a little bit lighter over here too. I'm going to just lay on the side. A little light shape over here. As you're adding more and more and more and more shape. And it will look more and more realistic. Okay. That's good. Now I'm going to have a little bit more red. And I'm going to just get a little bit brighter red color. Okay, here you go. The top over there. Get a little bit. Get back to the top over here. I don't need that much paint. Just a little bit over here. Now push that out a little bit. See that? That's a little bit soft. That's the impression of their feather. Okay, that's good. Beautiful. A little soft color. Now I'm going to come back here to take this color. Exactly perfect. Right here. Now I'm going to add this color right in here and see that oh beautiful now i'm gonna have that almost done right add that little bit color here too okay that's good all right now right underneath we also have uh the little feather over here okay like this just add a little bit to it. Now, since I have this color, I also need to add, okay, add a little bit dark, this dark color right underneath. Okay, right over here. I think it have a little bit more red. I need a little bit more red. This is good. Mix it well and take a look. right here. That's good. Like that. Wonderful. And I can have just a little bit orange color. Get the yellow and the red. Uh, making sure it's not much blue in your brush. Otherwise, it's going to look too dirty. Okay, here you go. Now I'm going to have a little bit more orange color. That's good. That's good. Right over there. Coming in a little bit more over here. 
into the feather. Now I'm going to separate that a little bit more by clean my brush. I'm going to have a little bit thicker color now. And I'm going to take a little bit white, make a little bit thicker. Here you go. Now this is color pretty thick. What I'm going to do, I'm going to make this a little bit more clear. You see that? Now a little bit separate. And also over here too. This is a low little color. Now a little bit sharper. And now you see how we start from the rough idea to going into more and more detail. Okay, now I'm gonna have this also a little bit later. So take a little bit more of this white paint over here. Now changing the curve, coming a little bit more like this. That's good. Okay, that's good. All right, the boat is getting there. And I can have one more over here, one more feather right in between. Okay, a little bit over here too, coming up. That's good. And the edge over here a little bit lighter. Okay, and Okay, that's pretty good. I'm going to have this orange color and a little bit more white. And I'm going to have this shape. I'm going to add a little bit clear. That's good. Right there. Make that a little bit softer. That's pretty good. I think the shoulder looks pretty good already. And the board, it looks good. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to walk in into the shadow side now. And we need to come back to add this dark color. Here we go. Have this. We define this. Look at that. Ooh look at the which side of the brush has the most paint and then use this side to touching the canvas okay like this and that's good a little bit over here a little bit darker that's good and i'm gonna have a little bit brown also a little bit more like just a brown. It's not much great. So I'm going to have just give it a little suggestions for a little shape. That's good. A little shape. Different color. And I have a little bit red. Not too much. Not too dark. Just on top over here. You see this little shape coming over. That's good. And a little shape over here too. Okay. Now I think the shadow looks is pretty good. The shape of the boat, it also looks not too bad. I just wanted the shape of the boat look a little bit thicker. So I'm gonna have that a little bit yellow mixed in, into it here. I think I'm going to expand this coming a little bit thicker. Okay. Uh, down a little bit. That's good. That's good. And here you go. A little bit more coming up. That's good. Beautiful. Okay. Now the boat a little bit more forwardly. All right. Now I'm going to have some darker color. So the darkest color over here, there will be the red and the present blue. And this is pretty dark. Now I'm going to take a look. This is dark color. Make sure it's thick enough. It's not. It's, it may be just blend in into the color. Okay, that's good. Coming in here. Okay, that's good. All right. 
now I'm walking into I'm gonna have this a little bit thicker before I go back to the background. Okay, have this a little bit thicker. Here we go. Okay, that's thicker. That's good. Like that. Okay. We have quite a bit of uh, I don't know, videos uh, in our learning center. And most of them uh, watercolor paintings. So this will be additional to that. I'm going to have this clean up this color moving in a little bit. And maybe this may be the time to get the yellow. And this the blue color. Now I'm going to have yeah, a little bit red in here. Make a little bit lighter. Here you go. That's the time to shrink this a little bit. Okay, here you go. That's good. I'm going to also have um, shape in the background like this. Okay, that's good. I keep a little bit soft in the background. That will be fine. You don't want the things to jump out too much on you. Okay. Now I'm going to also use the same color over here. And underneath the mouth, make it a little bit softer. That's good. Coming in here. Gradually. There you go. Now define the thing, the space as the background. I'm going to have this. A little bit like yeah, here you go. Now I'll create a little bit more contrast. That's good. Okay, keep that texture and over here too. It just use the color, blend it on. That's simple. Okay, I think this shape will be too much. I can. I'll break this shape a little bit. Wonderful. And all right, we are getting there. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the lick before I go into the pot. Okay, right here. Okay, like that. That's good. We don't have to make it look too clear. Uh, just a little bit lighter, a little bit red. Like that, that should be good enough for the lick. Okay. And. Okay. Now I'm going to start walking into the pot. There's a red pot. There's a green pot. I'm going to take this color, make sure that, make sure that I have enough light color on the light side, okay? Light enough. Okay, here you go, a little bit lighter. We can put it on and test it. And that's probably good, probably good. I don't want to be as light as the bird, okay? So I'm gonna have this right over here come to the other side. And just don't even think it's the part, just thinking about the color, the shape. I also going to make it maybe a little bit lower. Or maybe not. Probably okay. I'm gonna just keep it the same height. In. Okay, right there. And coming in a little bit, make it a little bit wider. That's good. And when you start it, uh as the foundation color, always try to keep it a little bit thinner. Okay. You don't have to make it that thick as you're building up. Uh, the details, and you're going to make it a little bit thicker and bigger. Okay, here you go. That's good over here. Coming. That's good. Just think about, is that dark enough? I think this is pretty good. Now I'm going to have even a little bit darker. 
and this side. Got that coming here. A little bit softer. Okay, here you go. That's good. I'm going on the other side and also have the shadow over here to think about how you're going to create that that shape with the economic brush though. Okay, that's good. Like that. Maybe a little bit darker. I'm going to have it get a little red color and the blue color again. And let's take a look. And here we go. Look, think before you start. Okay, that's good. Economic. Okay. And we're going to come back to see whether or not that is good enough. Okay. We can always can change it. Oil make us lots of freedom to change it at any time during the process until you're tired. Okay. You can have that a little bit dry brushed if you want to. So this is good. I'm going to have this a little bit darker, a lot darker. Actually, here you go. And coming over here. There we go. Now we also have some reflection on the other side. As is seeing a little bit green color and reflected, right? So now I'm gonna have a lot more blue color. And here you go, right at the bottom here. And coming over here too. A lot more green color. Okay, that's good. So when we finish the painting, we can have, have a little bit talk and to see if you have any question about opaque painting. Okay, that's good. I'm going to have a little bit dark color. Just think about dark and light right here. Here we go. Okay, that's good. We can have some detail come back over here. Okay, here we go. I'm going to have this a little bit more clear. That's good. All right. And pretty good. Now I'm going to clean it. I'm going to have a little highlight. And then I come back to uh, working on the green. Uh, and then we're going to catch the shadow. And then in the last, we're going to have some readjusting to the entire composition. Okay. Now I'm going to just have the thicker, just the white paint. There you go. Right over here. Okay, that's good. It looks like I need to have uh, come back to do it a couple of times. Here we go. And over here. That's good. Okay. The top over here, a little bit lighter. A little bit lighter coming over. Like that. Uh, and then I'm going to just have Mochi with this same color over here, and I'm going to have a little bit softer. Okay, here you go. Come in here. A little bit softer. That. And I need to remove some of the color. But before I do that, let me use this color here in my brush. And I'm going to have a little texture, a little bit color coming in here and also some cast shadow. Okay. I'm going to move the color a little bit away, moving that in. Okay, a little red, just the red color. Here you go, just a little red. We need to have this a little bit brighter.
That's good. Good on this side. A little bit red. Okay. Now we're gonna come back to add that a little bit more white to it later, and it will be just fine. So right now I'm just gonna add that little bit shadow. That's good. A little shadow over here. Nah. A little bit more red. And here you go. All right, it's already, I think it's already good enough. And I have a little bit over here. Oh, so another shadow. Okay, very good. Now, since we have this, I'm gonna have the little green color onto the other side. A little bit more white. Like that. Let's get a little green color over here too. Okay, let's keep it like that. That will be fine. Now I'm gonna paint it into the green. Now take a look at, the green is just not really that bright green. I'm gonna have a little bit white mix into for the light side. And you can change the green color if you want to, okay? Okay, here we go. Now, that's good, got a little bit blue in here. That's good. Let's take a look. There's coming up over here. The light side, is that light enough? Okay, there's probably a good color for now. And uh, now I'm gonna getting in a little bit more more in the light side. It's gonna showing. A little bit more lighter and lighter. I'm gonna have this color also moving into the shadow over here, make it a little bit lighter. Here you go, try to keep it thin as possible. And I have the thick color on top of that. So it's much easier to render as oil medium. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's good. Like that. All right, you see how easy that can be. I'm gonna get a little bit more white. Here we go. Now I'm gonna get a little bit more yellow. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna take a look again. Now this a little bit more clear because catch the shadow. Okay, that's good. And just think about the edges, right? Some a little bit more clear, some a little bit more softer. Okay. There you go. And a little bit more clear. A little bit softer, like that. That's good. Now I'm gonna have a little bit lighter. Okay, that's lighter. Right here, that's good. Now get a little bit thicker. And a little bit thicker. Okay, every stroke means something. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna get something even thicker. Here you go, right here. Okay, that's good. Okay, now we're gonna go into the other side. Okay, coming on here on the light side. Let's take a look from here. And look at it again. It'll be very crisp edge. That's good. Now I'm gonna have a little bit, okay, a little bit darker over here. A little bit darker. And I'll come back to have a little bit lighter. And then when we come back to have some darker and this side need to be darker as well. 
I'm going to have uh, clean my brush, have a little bit more white. Okay, get a little bit more white. It's just the white paint right here. Beautiful. See that? How clean that brush. That's good. I'm going to come here. Even clean and thick. Okay, that's good. Now I'm going to come to the other side. Okay, here you go. Coming over here. That's good. Like that. All right. Now come along very nicely. Now I'm going to have the blue color with the red. Mix that together. And I don't want this a little bit so bright. So I'm going to come back away here. I also see the catch the shadow on the other side. Okay, here you go. That's good. A little bit gray. The red and the blue color. A little bit more clear. There you go. Coming down over here. A little bit darker. That's good. All right, now I'm gonna come into the catch the shadow. Okay, uh, there's some catch the shadow. I have a little bit blue, so I'm gonna have that a little bit uh, bunch of other marine. I get a little bit white. Make it a little bit lighter to see how light that catch the shadow is supposed to be. And I'm gonna keep it consistent. I'm gonna have the French other marine or the green shade. Okay, I look like it need to have a little bit more green color because the environment they have quite a bit of uh vegetable. So I'm gonna have that a little bit more yellow. Mix that in here. That's good. Let's think about how dark the color. And what's the color mix it from? Okay, okay, got a little bit more blue in here. Let's take a look right over here. Now, after you put it on, you can see that it may be a little bit lighter. Okay, here we go. Okay, just mix a little bit to test it as a sample. That's good. And I'm gonna have that out over here, extend it to the outside. And I'm going to cut it down over here, softer. Okay, that's good. I'm going to also have the edge over here. Here you go. Have the color in. Nice. Also, the bird also is sharing the same. Um, catch the shadow. Okay, here you go. Like that. And this is also coming down from the part over here. There's also the catch to shadow of the bird. Okay, like that. Okay, pretty nice. Okay, right over here, I also need to probably wanna add a bit of other big suggestions of catch to shadow to the front over here. So I don't want this to look too flat. As we talked about earlier, we maybe also want to have uh, some vegetable at the front to actually break the shape a little bit. So we're gonna do that as the last thing. So before I go to do that, I'm gonna have, and over here also cover with the same color on the, either the ground or the table, okay. Yeah, that's good. Get that a little bit softer. That's fine. Okay, that's good. All right, getting there. I'm gonna have a little bit white shape with a little red. Also here, give a little bit, a little bit warm color.
That's good. Okay, I'm gonna have this a little bit softer. I don't have to make it so clear. That will be fine. All right, the last thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a look at, and also where this is coming. This is going the other side. I'm gonna have something coming toward the boot. So I'm gonna have that uh, just a little bit, a few dots. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have some dark color before I get the light color, okay. I'm gonna have a little bit because it's so close to us. I'm gonna have that a little bit, a little bit darker. And as just the shadow, I'm gonna have that coming a little bit. Okay. Like that. Just a little bit shape at the front. We don't have to make it too clear. Get okay, a little bit more yellow color. Okay. Okay, that's good. Now make this thicker. Here we go. And like that. And take a look at make it feel like the same kind of vegetable so it's kind of break the shape a little bit have a little bit more white just break the shape the reason I have this pointing in here First, I want the direction going to the boat. Okay, maybe a little bit, a little bit couple line. That will be fine. Okay, that's good. Now make it a little bit more feeling, dynamic composition. All right, now, that's good. A little bit more, a bit more detail over here, but control how much you want, how much, how light do you want it to be, okay? Don't just keep adding, adding, because you're having fun. And think about everything you do, they are for a purpose of how, you, you can make a good interactive conversation in the painting. Okay. For a painting like this, a reference is not really provide all the detail you need. Feel free to looking up for another reference for uh, the same type of bird, so you can have uh, better details, uh, can describe a little bit better, okay? Like the, for example, the lake. I'm not gonna do too much to that because I want the lake in the shadow, we maintain the shadow. I'm gonna have this a little bit warmer like that. A little bit blue. Okay, that's good. All right. And hopefully you're having fun. So continue painting and post it on Discord. And I was looking forward to see you uh, in our next demonstration. That will be watercolor on. And don't forget on Thursday. And Wednesday is uh, Chinese brush art, Chinese brush art, fun, uh, club meetings on Wednesday 1 p.m. And then we're gonna meet again on the following day. That will be Thursday for portrait club. And then Friday we're gonna paint watercolor again. Okay. So if you haven't finished the drawing study of the two 
drawing challenge and the learning challenge. And because next Friday, we're going to learn how to paint watercolor of the two references that you chose.